GPT, it's a state-of-the-art uh, language model. Uh, it's built by OpenAI, which is by Google, right? Uh, it stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It's a type of machine learning model. It uses some deep learning algorithms to kind of generate human-like text. So the, the idea is, is that it's a, conver it's, a conversational, it's a conversational chat, right? So it's not like you can show it something, you can't video chat with it, but if you write to it like a chatbot, um, it will do exactly what you need it to, which is answer questions in several different types of contexts. Like you can ask it to rewrite an email. You can ask it to um, look, read through a legal contract and give you a summary in simple languages. Sure, we've all been there, except for Gabby, because she actually understands that language better for some reason, I don't know. Uh, and uh, it achieved an average score of 82.2, uh, which is the highest score. Uh, it's called like a uh, it, that was on the glue benchmark and then on the squad. These are all benchmarks, you know, just like you have car benchmarks and car, uh, you know, benchmarking authorities. These models have the same thing. And GPT-3, which is the exact model that they benchmark, scored 93.2. It's it's demonstrative, like a really good performance rate. So first you have to log in. So you, you can ask it, um, let's see. How do I start a restaurant? How how how, how do, do I start I a restaurant? Start yeah. a restaurant. Can I be more specific with that question? Yes. How do I start a restaurant in New York City? Tell me. Uh, tell me from the point of view of someone from New York. Can I say that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's processing. Now, I, while this process is the response for you to be able, I do want to say my entire monologue was written by ChatGPT. So I had to write a monologue about itself <laughs> that I could explain on a podcast. Uh. Oh, look at this. All right. Challenging but rewarding. Um, is... I'm curious to hear what... Oh, this is super detailed. I'm curious to hear yeah. what you guys think. So <laughs> one of the things that I like about Google is the, is the different sources and options that they give me. Um, what do you guys think about this? Like, do you feel limited when you're looking at this or do you feel like, okay, this is everything that I need? Well, you, you have to be really specific in your, in your queries. Like in your, when you ask it questions, be as specific as possible and it could be better than Google because it might give you the answer you're looking for rather than you having to search through things. And, I think, yeah. Uh, so one that this is like the base level, right? Uh, this is ChatGPT. This is what you're uh, getting from OpenAI here. But I think what's really exciting, and you can see on your screen here, right? And it has like a, like write me a poem. <laughs> it has a lot of the context from here. But like what's exciting about it is uh, what's possible uh, going forward. So we're already seeing a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, read an article about how uh, one company is using it to um, negotiate uh, phone bills. So, like, it'll go in and start a chat with, like, one of the phone companies and we'll go and negotiate. It's been able to successfully negotiate, like, $120 off a year um, off phone bills. Um, I'm seeing uh, doctors using it to... Uh, Wait, hold on. Is those. anybody else shocked yeah. right now? Like, can Oh, we my just, God. Andrew, just... this is... <laughs> so it's like, spitting no rhymes. Way. It's spitting rhymes. Guys, this, this is, is so incredible. No way. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, to Andrew's point, people are like building like Andrew. What was it? Spectrum, you said of like someone oh, that's Com trying Comcast, to like. I think, yeah. One of those. Uh, Comcast, not Comcast. Sorry. Yeah. Oh my god! Kind of you can go. With, you can you can interface with this all day. It is just so. Wow. It just gets you quicker I, wherever you need to go. I love this. Oh wow! Look at this. I, it has oh my problem. God. I love this. <laughs> Jump through a million. Oh, easy peasy, skills. right? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> wow. Good luck with all that. <laughs> so, all right, guys, what's the use case for this for restaurateurs? Why should I care if I'm a restaurateur? Yeah, so I think what's really interesting, though, so like we mentioned, is helping negotiate um, uh, phone bills. It's helping to um, like negotiate with insurance companies. But I think about like when like how this influences restaurants. Like imagine applications where um, uh, a, 
a, you know, chat GBT could negotiate supply chain costs for you, um, could handle like, you know, customer uh, service, like general customer service for you as well too, like for your guests. Um, uh, uh, also like as a learning resource, like when we just asked it to, uh, three different ways <laughs> of how to start a restaurant. Um, and, and like what, what happens with so with chat GBT, what you're seeing here is just kind of like the base level of everything like that, but you can actually build applications on top of it and feed it information, feed it data. You can feed it all of your guest reviews and it can have like an understanding of like what the most, like the biggest problems a guest might be having are. Um, you could feed it your entire menu and it can go and, and, and anyone can ask it a question about the menu. Like, Oh, what is like, what um, uh, uh, ingredients are in this uh, uh, food item? Or like, Oh, which are your, which of them are best for vegans or something like that. Right. And it'll be able to go and, and provide recommendations um, uh, to those guests. So yeah, I think there's a lot of really exciting opportunities to build on top of this um, uh, for restaurants. I would use it for copy. Like if, if I were you in a past life, I would use this for copy a hundred percent. I think, Gabby, yeah, no, yeah. I was going to say like every, um, every person also has like their own personality. So if you are talking to, um, you know, just a regular kind of computer that has just like your standard, you know, lines for each um, for each item that you're trying to speak about. You won't have that personal touch. So like Nabil, he asks for something sarcastic that's more in line with his personality. Um, and so what I think would be really interesting is if you could kind of just aggregate maybe um, several different personalities to kind of fit with the customer. So that, you know, maybe the next time he orders food, um, they're going to be like, oh, you want, you know, extra sauce with that? Um, and just like be extremely sarcastic about it to piss Nabil off. That might be interesting. I think when you have uh, folks that are a little bit known, like Quentin Tarantino, you can ask it to write a script in a Quentin Tarantino style, right? So imagine uh, it gets a little bit smarter and it can read all our tweets. Like imagine reading Andrew's tweets. You will never be confused about what he wants to eat. He wants to eat Taco Bell, right? Three times a day. Um, so I think if it can get connected to, if it can start learning um, things we have written about, posted about, said, uh, it can, like, it can, like, almost like going to a great restaurant. If you go to a great Michelin star restaurant or two, they know who you are. They're like, oh, Gabby, thank you for coming back. Uh, I know you joined us last year. Remember, you have this allergy. Remember, you loved the soup. We don't have that. We have something similar, and we've prepared for you. Really excited that you have you came here on your birthday. Like, they Google you. You know, they try to figure out where you work. They learn everything about you. That's what happens when you go to a great restaurant, right? So now you, you can have that with this. Yeah, uh, that'd be really interesting, even just to find also, like, let's say you're a brand and you're trying to uh, find influencers or like people like you can feed it a bunch of like that content on from social media. And then you can feed it your menu and it'd be like, oh, well, if I'm going to be launching a uh, yeah new breakfast taco, like who out there talks about breakfast and taco all the time and it can go and it'll recommend you like oh who do i want to talk to for this and they'll say like oh you should reach out to this 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 person first here's and here's the campaigns that you should run you could ask it write the commercial for me <laughs> and it'll tell you i wonder if you could probably you could probably feed it a lot of marketing campaigns as well too and be like uh, i want to start yeah. a launch a new campaign for for november hey hey uh how do you and one of you read this poem for me all right S starting a restaurant in the city is no easy feat, oh so pretty. With hard work and determination, success can be yours, a real sensation. First, decide on your concept and menu. Consider the location you target the competition to. Choose a space that's easily accessible with parking or public transportation, oh so flexible. Obtain the necessary license and permits to operate your restaurants, no need to be a misfit. Create a business plan, a detailed document to guide, your goals, strategies, and operational side. Secure the financing to cover the startup costs, loans, grants, or investments never get lost. Hire staff and set up your restaurant space, equipment and supplies, layout decor, all in place. Promote your restaurant to attract customers galore, a website, social media, market plan, never a bore. Starting a restaurant takes time and effort, no doubt, but with hard work and dedication, success is what it's about. Wow, hey. wow, look at that. Wow. I can't believe uh, a robot robot wrote this. All right, guys, we're all out of a job, so let's all get better.
let's all make sure lunchbox works before they start a company imagine to start a company that you could run it perfectly hire perfectly make all the perfect decisions well yeah Oh, that'd be so nice. Oh. Why, why, why learn uh, stock trading when you can have ChatGPT trade it for you? 